Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at the Spanish M65 helmet and uh, just a little more interest, interesting variant of it. This is the military police version and uh, it seems like some of these were surplused out to the United States uh, over the last couple of decades. They don't show up all that often, but they are you know they're not like some unknown helmet or anything like that but they're just kind of a cool addition to any collection of cold war era type stuff as you can see they're both painted white uh, this one is the liner and this is the actual steel helmet they are very similar to the us m1 helmet and in about 1965 obviously the spanish government decided they wanted to uh, upgrade their helmets to pretty much what the rest of the Western world was using, which was an M1, US M1 style helmet. Um, one difference you will notice with these is the edge is actually left raw. So it is not rolled like on a US and uh, some other helmets. And there's a few other differences we'll get to in just a few minutes here. But uh, obviously it's marked PM for Policia Militar or I believe that's what it would stand for, but it's military police. And it's white, which is typical. Uh, you know, you see that in a lot of countries. This is the liner that would come with it, and that is Mark II. And this liner is in pretty nice condition with your standard rivets and green chin strap. Um, and then a suspension system in there, very reminiscent of other typical M1 style liners. Just one word I will say about these liners, they do crack easily. They're not particularly well built. They're not like some of the, the other liners that I have seen of, of M1 type helmets. So if you have a liner and it's stuck inside the helmet, don't try and force it out too much. You may crack it, you may just break it. I've heard of ones just completely shattering into a couple of pieces if they dry out. Um, so just keep that in mind. Maybe it's best to just leave it in the helmet and just know it's there rather than risk breaking it because they are kind of fragile. But anyway, uh, you've got a pretty standard shaped M1 helmet here. Uh, obviously, this one has seen some use. It's uh, probably fairly well used in Spanish service. The inside is painted white as well. And you've got a very unique chin strap system. This one actually has a cup that goes on the chin in white. And then a more sort of unique uh, hook system that you will see on other kinds of M1 helmets. But uh, this is a uniquely Spanish helmet with its own um, its own variants. You know, certainly the the raw edge lets you know that's what you're looking at. Um, I know that some of these may have been used in Mexico as well. I've certainly seen a lot of pictures of M1 style white helmets marked the same way in Mexican service. Wouldn't surprise me if some uh, Spanish helmets made it there. Uh, as far as them still being used today, I again, I'm not sure. I know they have been replaced by Kevlar in a lot of areas but there's probably no reason the military police wouldn't still be using these they are just a very kind of a cool example of a helmet that you may run across if you see one of these you know what you're looking at now and as always i appreciate you watching remember to like and subscribe and we'll always be doing interesting helmets firearms grenades and all kinds of cool stuff thanks for watching